Hello everyone! Welcome back to Journey to Krobus! Okay, what kind of luck are we having now? Neutral. It's always neutral lately. The spirits just have it in for us. <laughs> What's the weather going to be like tomorrow? Clear and sunny. Hi, Krobus! I'm happy here in the house. I like to spend all my time in a good spot. I don't need to get out like humans do. But I understand that you need to. Please don't feel like you have to stay here with me. Krobus, do you like to play any games? Wouldn't that be fun if he was like playing board games or something with us? This is an amazing gift for my people. It is a great honor to receive something like this. Like checkers with Krobus. I can just see it now. <laughs> Dear Pip, everyone around town has been talking about your great generosity lately. Apparently, packages have been appearing in people's houses containing items they posted about years ago on the Community Center Bulletin. And the packages are all addressed from your farm. Thanks for going out of your way to do something like that. All of us in town are delighted, Mayor Lewis. And, oh my goodness, do we have infinite energy two days in a row i don't even know what to do with that <laughs> i'm like mm, we got our field all planted so we could like i don't know what do you do chop trees all day <laughs> uh strawberry jelly if only it was cherry <laughs> those poor raccoons okay we need to you know what we could probably put that into the shipping bin because we found out we don't actually need it. The neutral luck is just, I don't know, I feel like it's killing us just a little bit. Okay, we've got the cactus jelly, we just, or the cactus, pickled cactus. <laughs> there we go. Uh, I don't really need that in the inventory at the moment. We can ship some of this other stuff. Here we go. We're gonna get there. Organization, it's happening slowly. <laughs> Uh, treasure bobber. You know what? We'll throw the heater in there too. I'm torn about whether to put that in there or not. Okay. Luna, we said good morning to you, right? You must have. Bait collection. That is the stuff of... <laughs> that is the high need stuff right there. <laughs> Hello, Piggy. Have you been getting us truffles? Because, you know, I don't feel like we've been seeing a lot of truffles lately. I think we got a lazy pig. I think that is... Oh my goodness, everyone! We have Mystic Sap. Look at that. Oh, glorious. Now, we need... We need 10 moss. Can we get 10 moss? That is the question. I don't know if we have any in our chest. I'm thinking hard. We are going to find this. I am determined. This is our goal for the day. Oh, I think there's moss in here. Okay, we we'll just have to be very careful with how we go about getting some of this stuff. Come on, we need some moss in here. See, we got some mossy seeds. Oh, goodness, yes. Hey, how much did we get? We have eight. We need two more pieces of moss and then we'd be able to do, oh, ho, ho, look at that, our luck. Two pieces, perfect. I was gonna say, if we could get ourselves a few more pieces, I would probably, no, we can only make one. One treasure totem, because we only have one mystic sap. Okay, it's all good, we're good. Those trees have really taken over, and we need to chop these ones down anyway. Oh, golden mystery box out of a tree. That was like the easiest mystery box we have ever gotten. Well, golden one anyway. We did get one out of a fishing chest, but I feel like the tree chopping was so much easier. I missed another spot. <laughs> okay, we're going to pretend that we never saw that one spot right there. Probably should be planting melons. Okay. And hardwood. Hardwood was the other thing we need. Uh, I was going to say, surely we must have some hardwood. 
Okay. Dun, dun, oh, I haven't tried the mushroom log either. We're gonna have to try that too at some point. But for the moment, treasure totem. Okay. Put all of the rest of the stuff in here, as well as the moss. And what else do we need for willies? We need iridium bars and batteries. Okay, I think we should be good. Now it's just a matter of where do we want to use the treasure totem? Probably in a place that has a lot of diggable spots would probably be the best solution. Pam, where do we go? Should we try the desert? Should we go up by Robins? Hmm. <laughs> so torn. <laughs> okay, we'll try up by Robins. I think we have quite a bit of tillable dirt up here. Like right in front of our house. So that might be like our best spot. I think we'll try it like right in here. Okay, everyone. Are you ready? Here we go. Wow. Look at all those little spots. Clay, stone, coal. Oh, okay, we got a book. One artifact, two artifacts. Oh, mystery box. Okay, so, you know, not terrible. Could have been better. Combat experience. And we didn't get any new artifacts, I don't think. Nope. So that's kind of a little disappointing. Like I thought Mystic Serve would be a bit more fun in that regard. I think there's supposed to be a type of grass we can also make with Mystic Syrup, but maybe we need to do something special to unlock the crafting recipe. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> okay, well we got to check that out, so that was kind of interesting. Oh right, the community center is done. Aw, uh, everyone just looks so happy. And all the balloons. <laughs> the village is definitely in celebration mode. They're all in awe of the wonderful fixed up community center. And you know what? We really didn't have to do much. I think the Junimos really did all the hard work. Because the gifts that we had to get while it did take over a year Really, we barely broke a sweat doing it. Those poor little Junimos, they just worked so hard. <laughs> I'm not sure how you did it, Pip, but the community center has never looked better. You've done Pelican Town a great service. Everyone in town is pleased. Well, I don't know if you can really say everyone in town as a way of saying thank you i'd like to present you with th this town's greatest honor the stardew hero award you've earned it Ooh, nice trophy for our house you received a stardew hero trophy Grumble, grumble, aha, uh -huh, the one person in town that is not impressed. Sales have been plummeting. Where have all of my customers gone? Ah, uh, Morris. <laughs> and Gunther has finally left the museum. Like that in itself, I think is amazing. All my customers here? This isn't good. Oh, Pierre, how does it feel? <laughs> uh, how about let's be reasonable, guys? Oh. It's of no consequence. I'll just run a 75% off sale and all my customers will come crawling back to me, begging for forgiveness. You'll see. No, not this time. Gather round, everyone. You know, I don't usually pick this one, so I'm very excited to see what everyone has to say. I remember when I first moved to Pelican Town, 
this building was active and vibrant. We worked together to make the town a better place. There was a real sense of community. George, you always used to do the crossword puzzle while sipping coffee in the community kitchen, remember? The good old days. Emily, you wove that custom banner for the Stardew Valley Fair. I remember you working on that for years. It, it was a lot of fun. She looks sad. Willie, me? Remember when your little crab experiment got out of hand? Hee <laughs> hee, <laughs> that I do. We showed up one morning and the place was crawling with them. But Gus saved the day with a brilliant idea, a crab leg feast for the entire valley. I still dream of that garlic butter. <laughs> mm. <laughs> you see everyone, our community is what makes Pelican Town special. When Joja Mart came to town, we lost sight of that. But now, thanks to Pip, we have a second chance. I'm asking that you join me in boycotting Joja Mart. We have the power to reclaim our old way of life. Who's with me? Dun dun dun. And any takers? Oh, I've lived here too long to see this town go to ruin. Oh, good for you, George, being the first to step up. You can count me in. I'm in. Boycott. Me too. No more George. No more Joja. It's about time. <laughs> I'm done for. Oh, he sure left in a hurry. Morris and his Joja Mart cronies were never heard from again. Okay, well, we were, we're heroes now. Look at that, we fixed up the community center. Everyone's so impressed with us as we still avoid people. Oh, George wants something, that's good. We need to take those quests. I keep forgetting we have like a whole bunch of really interesting goodies in the prize machine inside of Lewis's house. <laughs> it's been long enough since we've had a good ticket in there to get anything that I forget about all the goodies. Oh my goodness, summer squash seeds. I forgot about those too. Too many good things. Hello, Willie. Are you... No, you don't want to show us what's in there yet, but we we have everything you need. Oh my goodness, there's a burger and we still have so many that we need to unlock. We've still got a lot of fish to catch everyone. <laughs> And that reminds me, have we actually caught the legendary summer fish yet? I don't think I am seeing the crimson fish anywhere. Caught the legend. Okay, we might have some fishing on our hands today. I was going to say, what else did we have to do? But not a whole lot. We only have one golden mystery box. I think I want to try to let those stack up a little bit and then maybe crack a whole bunch at the same time. Okay, we're almost back to having our bait maker once again for the third time. <laughs> it's like my favorite new addition to the game and the one we have also lost the most. <laughs> oh, look at that, we hooked it first try. Okay, that is a little scary. Now we need to focus on catching ourselves a fish. <laughs> but you know, I find this to be one of the easier legendary fish. Okay, caught it first try. Look at that, we're done. We can toss that one in the wonderful fish smoker and just reel in the cash later. I think it's gonna be good. Have we caught the mutant carp too? Or, oh my goodness, that's not where the fish are. <laughs> Yeah, no, haven't caught that one either. Well, it looks like we also need to catch ourselves an octopus, and I absolutely fear the octopus. They're so hard to catch. <laughs> okay, let's go fishing in the sewer here for a minute. 
Oh, we should probably go up to the train station area and trigger that one event with the wizard so we can um, get our little secret with the wizard unlocked and all that fun stuff. And then we'll be able to catch some slime jacks too. Oh, look at that. I like it when the fish spawn so easily. You know, catching this one with challenge bait would be quite interesting. Maybe you could be able to catch more than one. It only slipped out of the bar once, so real potential there too. Okay, let's take the mine carts all the way up to the mines and then we'll go to the train area. See if we can trigger an event there. Hopefully that'll help get us to Ginger Island because that would be kind of fun. Dun -dun. The only thing I don't like about unlocking the community center is the fact, oh my goodness, our inventory is seriously full. <laughs> Good to know. Um, yeah, the thing I don't like about it is that Clint doesn't work on Fridays anymore. And it's so ironic because I'm pretty sure Pierre opens his shop all week and Clint's like, no, I'm taking Fridays off all of a sudden. <laughs> Here we go. Ah, Pip, I've been waiting for you. Have I ever told you I used to be married? I don't think you have. Strange, I know, for a man like me, but it's true. My wife and I were together for many years until, until I made a mistake that drove her away. Her anger and envy were so intense that she turned green and began flying around the countryside, cursing everything in her path. When I found out, I sealed this passage to her home, fearing that an innocent villager might fall prey to her dark magic. But now it must be unsealed, for when we separated, she took my magic ink. I need that magic ink back. I would do this myself, but I... I can't see her again. That's why I need your help. Oh, he's gonna make us do his dirty work. In order to unseal this passage, you'll need a dark talisman. Talk to Krobus in the sewer. Oh, but he's not in the sewer anymore. He should know where to find one. I'm counting on you. If you can retrieve my magic ink, I promise I'll make it worth your while. Now go. Oh my goodness, we're scared of everything. You know, I'm surprised that we jump in fright of the wizard leaving, but not of the witch flying overhead because personally, I'd be more scared of the witch flying over our heads than of the wizard vanishing. <laughs> but that's just my opinion. <laughs> oh, it's tempting. Will it stack? Aha, it will. <laughs> okay, we need to empty out our inventory a little bit, get ourselves some void mayonnaise going. Oh, look at that. Our little pig has been productive today. I don't think we can pick that up at the moment. Uh, let's put our trophy in here for a second. Some dinosaur mayonnaise. Krobus would like some void mayonnaise. Oh, we got some right there. And we have no room for it. <laughs> oh, the things we do. Oh, no, we did have room for that. Oh, right, because we put all of our eggs in there. Okay, that's good. We need to put our trophy in our house. We gotta show that off. And what can we quickly ship for some profit here? Maybe that, and let's get rid of the seaweed. Oh, artifacts, we already have them. Perfect. Hello, our little pig. Let's try not to eat the void mail. Stay in there. They're trying to escape. <laughs> They're like, um, hello, we went out of here. <laughs> okay, can throw that in there. We need some coal. 
Do we have some? Oh yeah, we're good. Two legendary fish. Boom, just like that. And that can go in there. Oh, look at us, we're getting organized here. Krobus, do we need to talk to you in the sewer or can we just chat with you here? Aw, he's admiring our fish. Will you look at our trophy? That'd be pretty cool. What's that? You're looking for a dark talisman? Hmm, now that you mention it, I did have one in my possession not too long ago. Unfortunately, I dropped it while exploring a tunnel in the sewers. Things started heating up in there, so I left in a hurry and sealed the entrance. You seem pretty sturdy though, so I'll open it back up for you. Just be careful, okay? Aw, thank you, Krobus. That's really sweet of you. Alright, to the sewers or bust. Here we go. <laughs> Good thing we have all of this infinite energy that we've been using so wisely. <laughs> we really should have gone on like a tree chopping spree. I'm pretty sure we have so much hardwood back home that that probably would have been ideal. But I'm pretty sure we already have enough wood to fix the boat. So I don't know what would we be using. What would we use all the hardwood for anyway? Crafting, probably. Dun dun dun. <laughs> Krobus and his little chest that's still there now. Okay, we can go in. Okay, you mutant bugs, we are ready. I also really want to catch a slime jack too. That would be ideal. And we'll grab all the fiber we can get our hands on, because that seems to be a thing too lately. <laughs> Hello, little bug. Oh, you know what would be absolutely amazing? If these green bugs dropped deluxe bait. That would be so good. <laughs> I totally think that should be a thing. Green bugs drop you know, special bug meat that turns into deluxe bait. <laughs> or they just, you know, drop deluxe bait. You know, either way, whatever way you want to swing it, I think that would be pretty good. Okay, one dark talisman. You found the dark talisman. It's covered in bug slime. Ew. <laughs> That's gross. Okay, another little buggy there. Okay, should we try our luck at getting that slime jack? Dun, dun, dun. I'm like, hmm, where's going to be the best spot to fish in here? I have no idea. Let's try our luck here. Mm, nope, can't cast that way. <laughs> Uh-oh. Come here, buggy. <laughs> There we go. Oh, LJ. I wonder how many bugs will attack us as we attempt this. Oh my goodness, that is one tame little fish. Oh, it's just a carp. That's not exciting. Go rubber ducky. Find us a slime jack, will you? Oh, are we going to be like on a little carp catching spree? I feel like that's going to be the case here. Dun dun dun. <laughs> I was going to say, if this takes too long, we're not going to be able to go up into the witch's cave. Okay, I have to be very honest. I get very freaked out about going into the witch's hut at night. And it's just because, to me, that would be the time that she'd be home. <laughs> All right, slime jack. Oh, nope, we didn't mean to cast there. Let's go. One slime jack, that's all we needed. We caught another new fish, so that's what, three new fish that we've caught all of a sudden lately? That's pretty good. We could probably add a fourth if we were super lucky. <laughs> uh, that might be pushing our luck though. I don't know if we'll get the void salmon or not. 
I wonder how Krobus would feel about a void salmon. He might not like that very much. I don't know how he feels about fish. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, should we maybe grab these two just in case? <laughs> I'm like, have we caught all of the little crab pot fish yet? I'm not sure. We might have to move our pots down to the ocean. Is our inventory full again? No, we're good. Okay, here we go. It's late, it's creepy. <laughs> See, that would scare me too. Like, how does that not freak us out? Oof, here we go. Giha, human! You want to pass? I'm sorry, this is private property. I'm sorry, but I can't let you pass. I'd lose my job. A little bribery goes a long way. Sniff, sniff. That smell. I can't resist. Give me that. Thanks. <laughs> well, at least he has manners. Okay, can we quickly fish ourselves up a void salmon while we're here? <laughs> that is the question. You know, it was a lot darker in the cave where we caught the slime jack than it is here, which I think is a little weird. You, you would think this area would be like really dark and spooky and creepy, but it's not as creepy as the cave where we found the talisman. Ah, here we go. Got a hit. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, and a golden treasure chest. Oh my goodness. Can we get both? Are we going to be greedy? We're going to get greedy. We don't see many golden treasure chests, so, you know, we gotta, we gotta go for them while we can. The fact that we have our cork bobbers still very helpful. <laughs> okay, one void salmon and... Oh, really? Wild bait? Just five pieces? <laughs> I'm, like, expecting something, like, super exciting. Okay. We got the ink. You found the wizard's lost magic ink. Better return it to him. Has this book always been on the floor here? Curse the countryside, a spell book for the rural witch. Okay. Wizard, we are busting into your house exceedingly late at night. <laughs> you found my ink. Excellent. Er. Did you happen to see my ex-wife? No? Well, what about her house? Do you think she lives alone? Or... Oh, poor guy. Actually, don't tell me. I don't want to know. Anyway, you must be wondering about your reward. Here. Ooh, spooky. Look at the smoke. <laughs> it's a book of summoning. There are arcane, the arcane potential is immense, but I'll make it simple for you. By using this book, you can summon magic buildings directly to your farm. I think you'll find it useful. Oh, I almost forgot to say, ahem, thank you. Aw, well, at least we're glad we could be of assistance. Wizard, it's really late and we're in your house. Ha ha ha. Okay, where's some coffee? We are not going to sleep tonight, but you know what? We are going to run like crazy back home. <laughs> and yeah, we'll just run around here. You know, I think we still need to catch a midnight cart, but I can't remember if you can catch those in summer. Either way, it's late. We've been... Uh, very productive today. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, we've made it back home and we're stuck on sprinklers and scarecrows. <laughs> okay, time to quickly sort some inventory out, which is probably a good idea. Uh, I think I'll toss these in here. We do need those for some cooking dishes. Some of our mixed stuff can go in here and... 
we can probably smoke a few of our fish that we caught. Okay, uh, no, please do not eat the void salmon. That might not be very tasty. <laughs> okay, two legendary fish into the shipping bin. Wonderful. And I don't know, are these fish going to finish smoking fast enough? It's always hard to say. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> I like watching them bob up and down. It's so neat. Statue, what are you going to bless us with tomorrow? You know, if you could give us some advanced warning, that might be kind of cool. We want our green rain day very soon. Oh my goodness, we're going to pass out. I totally lost track of time. Yikes. <laughs> Luna, we made it just inside the door. Thank goodness. <laughs> oh, goodness. Between Luna and Krobus, I'm sure they can haul us into bed. Wow. Look at that. Smoked crimson fish, 9,450 gold. Smoked mutant carp, 6,299. I think we did really well today. All right, everyone. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you next time.